We're here in Maidstone, Kent to visit Dandelion Time. A project that supports those that have suffered traumatic experiences. Dandelion is only in existence because it is wanted by the community that it seeks to serve. And the community have said to us over these 10 years, you're doing something for the children who are, are the most neglected and who, are, and who have struggled with serious uh, issues around abuse and have been traumatized. Often Dandelion is uh, called upon as, as, as the last service for children, um, where other services have not achieved some success. If you are um, a person or a child who's experienced trauma, you may get triggers to go back into trauma. And we know with trauma that there is a flight, a fight or a freezing process. So when that comes, there's a very re-vivid imagination, a very vivid experience, once again, of a time when you were quite terrified. And so what we do here with children, if they're in that place, we're looking for those things that help them to feel calm and safe. And the outside world, actually, for some children, can offer a very safe healing place. You can hear the wind going through the trees. That can be very calming, helping the child, their heart rate to calm down, their breathing to slow, as they do um, picking in the garden, digging, all of those things can be very healing. Work on the farm includes caring for animals, as well as growing and harvesting vegetables. So I've been in the garden collecting leaves and herbs and maybe preparing a nice salad or putting in all the cooking. Lydia's already in the kitchen preparing the fantastic dish and we're going to have a nice dinner all together. The families then use the farm's produce to prepare and cook the meals, eat together and cooperate and share in joint activities. Today uh, you have seen um, a group of people rolling a tractor tire, two tractor tires, down um, into the garden so they can grow some potatoes. In. We ran out of beds to put our potatoes in, so it seemed like a, a, a logical thing to do, and it's worked. And it's, it's a deeply experiential um, uh, activity for us all. Some of these activities are as new to us as they are to the families that come here. And that is great. If our staff are slightly challenged uh, because they're doing something new they haven't done before, um, that, is, that is very exciting. It's, it's got to be safe, of course and it's got to be well thought through. But you know, a challenge all round is a very, very, it, it provides equality um, between, uh, between the people who are engaged in it. And so our tractor rolling this morning was an equal experience for everybody and equally satisfying when we managed to just plop these things down. It's so wonderful to celebrate a good 10 whole years now of this work and looking back over the years at all the children and families who've gone through. And we have um, a real connection with children and families who've gone, been here in the past. And so we often get a knock on the door from a young man who's now got a girlfriend, wants to introduce her. Um, we keep in touch with families. So it's a time of celebration for everybody involved. 